because we are becoming more and more of, uh, of a science. Uh, sorry about the provocation, but uh, um, uh, that means we, we are becoming more and more specialized as well. And there's a danger there. It's natural, but it is a danger. So we need both theory and, and empirics. Um, and I see kind of drift between the two. And then across fields as well, because if you think about, say, macro in 10 years ago or 15 years ago, there was very little macroeconomics doing uh, banking, for example. And if you think uh, about the trans transmission mechanism or all those things, of course, banking is crucial. So you need to bring together multiple fields. And that's why you need a broad, a very broad uh, knowledge uh, to do modern economics. I can't remember which leading politician is supposed to have said it, but that you know, we know what we should do, we, we know what the economists are telling us to do, but if we do the right thing, we'll never get re-elected. We propose something that can't possibly be implemented politically, if we not even got the analysis wrong in the first place. There's this view that uh, because there's a market, there's more integrity. Uh, you don't have someone who decides on the allocation of scarce, res scarce resources, so you have less corruption, less favoritism. But nowadays, things, uh, things have changed. So lots of people actually think that markets are immoral in some way. And there's a little grain of truth too. So sometimes we just don't want to see that we have created an unequal society. And we don't want to see the symptoms of that.